Hello everyone, welcome. This is Feline Intuition 1111. This is going to be a collective reading. Let's see what messages want to come out for you. What are the messages for the collective? You got signs and synchronicities, relationship, proposal, and unexpected. Okay, so some of you, okay, something unexpected is about to happen. Someone may have some kind of offer for you. It could be someone asking you out. Let's see. What are the messages for the collective? You got pushover, dirty laundry. Okay, real love. Oh, I haven't seen this card in a while. Butterflies, heartfelt connection, relationship goals, power couple, marriage, stability, wishes granted, romance, no question, no doubt. So you got a relationship here that looks like it's going to be real love. We got dirty laundry. Hold on. We got runaway love. Runner, possible divine connection, ghosting, unsure of where you stand, highs and lows, queen and slim, Bonnie and Clyde elope. So there's a relationship that card kind of gave me like a past energy, like someone who is wondering where they stand with you, but there is some kind of good connection happening here and there's some gossip, but we'll see what's going on. What are the messages for the collective? What are the messages? Messages from the collective. Ooh, so you got some offers here. Could be one offer, it could be two. We got the Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So I'm seeing that there's some kind of effortless connection coming in, but I'm also seeing that there's someone who feels possessive over you. Sorry about that. So we've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. I feel like whoever this is, whoever this Emperor in reverse is, they seem to have like kind of a selfish need to feel better. So they could be coming towards you because just because they feel sad and they feel like you can make them feel better, like reconciling with you would make them feel better. But... I feel like there's this effortless connection coming in, but there's this energy here. Hold on, why the Ten of Swords in reverse? With the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Sorry, not the Ten of Wands. Eight of. Not the Eight. The Nine of Wands again. Let's see how that fell out. <laughs> Someone has some kind of apology here. For some of you, it could be someone who moved on to someone else and that didn't work out. So now they're coming back to you with their tail between their legs with an offer. That's specific for someone. So you may have this, they may reveal to you that things didn't work out for them. Why the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Cups? Two of Cups. There's this feeling of you having a choice. I feel like a lot of you are choosing somebody new, but there's this, there's a relationship coming. But it's like whoever this emperor in reverse is, they want to be involved here. So I don't know if some of you may have kids with this person or what, but they seem to keep, like this unfinished business message keeps trying to come up along with this new relationship message, so. Why the tower in reverse? With the two of wands in, re not in reverse, two of wands upright. So, hmm. Someone is really, there is someone who wants 
run from you. It does look like it's connected to this. So this is someone who was, I guess, the runner, like running from this connection. It's like they're really sad at the moment, really just not doing so well. And they seem to want to come towards you. They, yeah, <laughs> someone who's just not doing well at the moment, emotionally, mentally. Like I said, it seems a little bit selfish. Like they feel like they just want to come towards you just because they know you would make, you could make them feel better or your energy could make them feel better. But I feel like you're onto better things, especially with the nine of pentacles. A lot of you are rebuilding yourself financially or just rebuilding yourself in general. Why the page of pentacles? Wow. Who is this? Someone has this offer for you. Page of Pentacles. Some of this could be a friendship that leads to a commitment, like a romantic relationship that is committed with the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Why the Ace of Pentacles? The Empress. I'm in reverse. Hold on. Could be dealing with a Libra or Virgo or Aries. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Okay, so something you're no longer waiting for. I feel like you're making a choice here. There's something that is, there's some kind of offer that is so good that. You've waited for it and it could cause you to like really completely end things with a past person. So there, <laughs> it's like you're going to have a really good connection, but there's going to be this person who's like in a really bad place at this time. And it's kind of all happening around the same time. Clarify dirty laundry. Why is this here? Gonna be, there's going to be people who are envious of your connection, who may want to dig up things from the past, maybe about your person or about you. They seem envious about this connection. So it could be for some of you that you're hiding this relationship, that you're keeping it private for some time. But the gossip is going to be about your relationship. Yeah, let me look at your main spread. Could be dealing with the Pisces. You have the moon as well. Okay. What are the messages for the collective? Messages for the collective. King of Pentacles. <laughs> Queen of Wands. So someone's real. Ooh. Someone's really attracted to you. This looks like a new person with the Ace of Cups. Or it could be a new start with a person or someone that you're friends with. And it becomes a connection again with the two of pentacles it's like you're finally like making a decision in love here the empress again overall energy is the empress so whatever this is you're attracting it you're being seen as the queen of swords so you are dealing with people accordingly why the queen of swords Yeah, 
you're being very sharp with your words with people here or just the way you just get them out of your life if they're not serving you here why the why the queen of wands So whoever this new person is, they may be cautious of you at first. I feel like it has to do with your looks. They seem very attracted to you, very passionate. And it could be because of your transformation or your looks right now, where this person is nervous, but they do want some kind of new beginning with you. Whoever this person is. Why the Ace of Cups? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Magician in reverse. I feel like that has to do with, I don't know why, but this person who wants to be with you, they seem to not know why you want to be with them. So they could feel like, like this might be too good to be true. Why did the magician come out in reverse? Someone may feel like this connection is too much at first. This can also be speaking about someone else who does feel like the bare minimum is too much. So this Ace of Cups could be speaking about two people. You got one who, do, who does want a connection with you. Why am I stuttering so much tonight? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> one who does want a connection with you, but this person could be the person from the past who feels like the bare minimum is too much. So they'll manipulate their way around trying to do things. They're kind of relying, relying on you to be a pushover, but I see you being the queen of swords. So it's not really going to work for them. Why the eight of cups? Ten of cups, ten of swords. So someone may walk away feeling hurt. So this could be the past person, which maybe they try to get back with you. They see that you're in a new connection. They feel like they're in this 10 of swords energy. I see them walking away eventually. Why the page of cups in reverse? Justice in reverse. This person, they it's like they fear the same thing happening to them that happened to you, the same thing they did to you, the way they hurt you. In the past, they fear that happening to them. I don't know why, but I feel like I need to get Oracle cards. What are the messages that need to come out? Healing, releasing, purifying, cleansing. Depth, awareness, importance, value. Thinking, missing you, craving, desiring. So we have soulmates, deep love, unity, connections. So yeah, this is like a, it's like a tie between some soulmate connection you have coming in and the fact that there's someone like really in a bad space mentally and emotionally because of you and because you're moving on clarify the wheel of fortune in reverse it's like you healed and this person didn't so the will is turning negative you see what i mean the Wheel of Fortune is blocking and it's literally like this is all happening at the same time. You're having this blessing. They're having this really bad time. This ex, whoever this is from the past. Like the wheel is turning based on things that you have both been doing and you've been working on yourself and they haven't with the star in reverse. 
So they're getting the bad end, and you're getting the good end with a new connection. Why the chariot? So I see them, yeah, disappointed, heartbroken, sad, and missing you, but trying to move forward, trying to move on. This is their next move. So it could be a Gemini or a Cancer, a Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Um, why the Five of Cups in reverse? So, okay. What you need to know is that you, a lot of you are very much over someone, whoever this is, maybe from the past, you're very much over them. But this is really her and their ego with the King of Wands in reverse. Why the Six of Cups in reverse? They're really stuck on the past. Someone's really stuck on the past and the fact that you rejected them. Be a Taurus, but they're gonna be. St it's like they're moving on, but they're stuck on the past with you. I feel like this person, like their ego, is really gonna be bugging them. Seven of Cups in reverse. Let me pull some more cards. What are the messages for the collective? Last B energy promises. Ooh, higher learning, Voodoo Priestess. Okay, out of control, snaps. Can't show this, but these are the words. So this person, hold on. Ooh, wait. Secrets, hidden information. Requited mutual feelings. Hmm. What's the hidden information? What's the secrets? Narcissist energy. Oh my gosh. What is this? Three of Swords in reverse. What is this? Okay, now the devil is revealing itself. So this person may have been more toxic than you thought. Some of you may not know that this past person was a narcissist. Some of you do know, but some of you may not know. Maybe they hit it well. Maybe they don't show their bad traits or they try to come off as really confident. And like a good person tell me more about these what's this energy with these secrets and hidden information because we had that snapped card out of control I don't know if this person is gonna show their true colors to you this past person because they kind of they're kind of at their wits end I guess because they're being rejected and left behind. So I don't know if you're going to see this ego come out with them or what. But let's see. What are the messages? Property, real estate, residence. Ice queen, yeah, because you've been seen as the queen of swords. So divorcee, mother, discernment. 
they can't get past your barrier male or whether you're male or female they can't get past your exterior we've got young male sporty cars you for short term quick flings ending i do see that some of you may have options so you may be choosing someone but you may have had quick flings or short-term connections but i see you like going into a full-on relationship with someone so you're definitely choosing somebody if you have options but this past person could be younger than you because i feel like the new person is this king of pentacles male or female someone older mature out doesn't have to be older but just mature and stable let's see messages for the collective closure you don't think of me options are kept open and you love me so I feel like this you love me is you feeling some love energy from somebody maybe this person that you end up in a connection with you may really feel that this person truly loves you or that they are capable of loving but this past person they kind of know now that you don't think about them at all that you have options they may try to come to you and act like they want closure i feel like they just want to weigh in to be honest what other messages joy oh my gosh Joy and stability blooming, be the change. What are the messages? Blooming again. So the blooming card reminds me of the Empress, which is the overall energy anyways. And we have someone new and fresh starts. So this is, this is a new connection here. And that's what's blocking this person out. They're about to experience what they put you through in the past. When will this unfold? The new person. June, some of you may have met them in June. They could be born in June or you are. Or you could meet them next June. Yeah, but it's going to take a while it's worth waiting for and when you let go okay so some of you may be attached to the idea of a relationship if you're not then this may not be for you if you are like always thinking about love like always wanting it looking for it then that's making it take longer the attachment to it because we have june it's going to take a while which june is going to take a while if you haven't met them in june but it says we'll have to wait and it says when you let go so this for this is i feel like that message is for those of you who are still healing still learning to detach but for those of you who have learned to detach and you're not you don't really care whether you get a relationship or not it could happen a lot sooner for you it's really based on your attachment to it your ability to detach from it what are the messages? Love your shadow, accept and work with the flaws in yourself so you can learn to accept others the way they are. It's just like what I was saying, for those of you who are, still, who are still doing shadow work, and I've never seen this card before in this deck, so definitely meant to come out. Engagement, your love life is soon ascending to a higher level of commitment. They are the one you have already met the romantic partner you seek. Some of you have already met this person. Law of attraction, you have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will be your will soon be yours. So there's definitely a relationship. And for those of you who haven't gotten it yet, it's really about being able to detach from the idea of it first. 
so that it hap it feels natural to you and it happens natural. Is what I'm getting. Um, let's see. Voodoo priestess clarify the higher learning. Yeah, some of you are gonna see this past person as just ridiculous. Like you won't you'll see them as you'll see them for what they are when they come forward. With the page of pentacles in reverse. Clarify thinking, missing you. And this person, they're feeling they're in a low position, feeling low about themselves. That's that's why. Why did that snaps card come out? The out of control card. So you start fighting for this connection and you started focusing on yourself. And this is gonna make this person kind of get real agitated, real, I don't know if they're like narcissistic traits are gonna come out. Some of you may have thought they were not even a narcissist. Some of you may have known this, but this is like, this is clarifying secret information. So for some of you, they could have been hiding their true colors the whole time. Keeping secrets. What are the secrets? Tell me. Hold on. There's too many cards. What are the secrets? I just saw 27, 27. Lies. The Ace of Swords in reverse. Some of you that are lying that they that, like they could have had options. For some of you, not all of you, but some, this person from the past could be someone who just goes around and collect supply from different options while lying about it. They could have belonged to the streets secretly. I feel like most of you won't care because there's, there's this huge emphasis on you being over them and seeing them for what they are. Any more secrets that need to come out? Third party situation. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Some of you may know this. This message may not be for everybody, but there was definitely some hidden options. It's like this person would go around and they were narcissistic and it was just all about them getting their needs met. Not for all of you again, but for some. So they could have been portraying themselves as this confident person when really they need other people to make them feel good about themselves. They need attention, they need supply. But I feel like you're way done with that person. What's the unexpected? Sagittarius energy. Hmm. You might find this person to be. Hold on, tell me more about the unexpected energy. You might find them to be more obsessed with you than you thought. You might find out about a fake account. Some of you, this person's gonna show a different side of themselves, like either a very unstable side of themselves or just a very narcissistic, egotistic side, or they're gonna, I don't know. Something weird might happen with a past person because they feel just completely rejected and just thrown to the side because of your new relationship, your new life, and you being in the Queen of Swords energy and just, treating them the way they treated you basically like just well, not really how they treated you because for some of you they were just completely lying but i feel like a lot of you are going to be cold towards this person because you see them for what they really are so the new connection looks real good 
new person might doubt themselves a little bit but i feel like that's temporary they may get used to being with you get comfortable not comfortable in a bad way but you know feel more confident could be a leo a gemini sagittarius libra scorpio taurus libra again aries aquarius leo again aquarius again libra again it's a lot of libra um cancer and aries leo sagittarius so those are the main signs i hope this was helpful thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one